Hi there, welcome back to Tormund Tides of Numenera, where we try to save Rockstichus from this populist lord here. <laughs> the lord has brought it here himself. And now he wants the people to kill it. He wants an enemy for them, and that's why he brought it here. What are we gonna do about it? We need to find. We need to try and find um, other rogues, other I'm other going. Sticha, and um, trying Tell to get them to dig exactly. maybe an escape tunnel for him. So we'll wander around and see that we'll find them. They are probably somewhere down. So maybe in the underbelly. And we'll just have a look there. Of course. This seems like it's leading down there. A labyrinth. Oh yeah. Let's find them. There's there's a lot of thugs here, a mutant. But we have a mission. We want to find these we have been here already at the Dendra or her when we yeah well when we died let's see there's another guy a juvenile stichus levy spell lie and there is a stichus with a name let's talk to this one maybe this massive creature looms over you, a scent like lightning and an underground cavern washes over you and it reminds you of nothing so much as curiosity, it chitters and rumbles, waving its large claws through an expressive dance. Something about these smells, sounds and gestures seems familiar, a niggling itch in the back of your mind. At least you remember the taxonomy now, this is a stichus, a huge burrowing insectoid. It points to itself and says chkekt. It follows with another stream of high-pitched noise. You remember it now. The language is broken like a pidgin dialect, but you can understand it well enough to communicate. I checked speaker to brown grub. Humans, you speak me, I speak sticha people. So th this is the chief diplomat. You almost have the sense of the language, the structure, the feel, the sound and scent. The itch in your mind intensifies. You can feel the memory of the sticha's language waiting to reveal itself. Huh. Let's build some report. Uh, can you tell me about the sticker? It scrubbles briefly at the wall and a bit of lightning flares about the crown of antennae on its head. Its shoulders shrug and you smell the swift stichus, live in rock, dig deep, deep, devour electrical charge, not enemy humans, keep the community, grow old in new home. More, perhaps, but it's detail. Long, human not interest. Speak, Chkekt will answer. Uh, why are you digging here? This arm, Chkekt raises its great arm, dig, draw energy from rock from friction, eat electric charge, more store electric charge. It points to the spiky growths on its plating. Here rock good, hard, much electric, best found, other places not good. How did you come to be under Sega's cliffs? It shrugs its massive exoskeletal plates grinding. No ancient ever to tell. Four generations only in caves. We live instinct. Only guess at legacy. Memory stolen. It growls in frustration. It pats the well wall nearby. Stichus hedge from egg. Yes, yes. Traders come from evil bloom. Other worlds. So they have lost their history. That's interesting on the one side, but frustrating on the other. Think humans stole eggs, humans brought eggs to world, humans hedge eggs, larval stichus, a mystery to buyer, released her. Here, Chkekt exhales from its spiracles, must guess at function, must guess at society, maybe advanced ones, maybe great civilization, now, now only dig, dig for clues. That must be frustrating, we must help them. Let's ask some other questions. Its tail and hand flexes and closes. Ask them. Hmm. What 
Can you tell me about this place? He looks at you intently, and then its spatulate fingers begin a slow and careful dance. The sound it makes are slow chitters that rise and fall in pitch, accompanied by the smell of ozone. And they know much about this, and we want to know. Good rock, full of electricity, this is our home. The word home also means tunnel or sanctuary, a layered meaning. Brought here is eggs, hatch, dig here for safety, food, good rock. Now if they were brought here, how do they know their language? That's another thing. It smacks the tunnel wall and broke some of the rock crumbles with the force of its massive claw. Find secret place to store new eggs. Human grubs would steal or smash. Hmm, so you're afraid, right? I found a stichus in Cliff's Edge. It's hiding in a refuse heap and the humans want to kill it. Can you help? It looks at you for a long moment, almost as if it can't believe what it just heard. It's weak. Outcast. Not feed self. Burden on broodmates. Should be dead. The odor that rises from the stichus is dry and musty. The scent of an insect's corpse curled on a window sill. It's disgusting. Well, all right, but the Stichos is... If it is indebted to us, it could tell us so much about the Sticha, so... We want to help. Also, we have a good heart. So persuasion. We'll, we'll try to persuade. Weak or not, it doesn't deserve to die at the hands of a mob. It's your kin. We'll try. Try our best. As always, 60% isn't good enough. No, some life is drained, parasite, contribute nothing. If Sticha, safe outcast, will starve and die anyway. Pauses, human kill outcast, useful for all. Will reward. Ah, oh, ah, uh, no thank you. I'd like to ask some other questions. So you dig under the city, right? Can you take me someplace? Maybe take. Sichus mutters, though its scent indicates reluctance and caution. Must pay ten shins. What do the Sicha use shins for? Human sell Numenera. Call self Mechela. Trade shins in other Numenera to Sticha. Sticha trade shins for Numenera good for dig. Melt into walls and tunnels, make stronger. That why shins. Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, forget it for now. Farewell. We won't... We would have no idea why we should go there, so... Maybe let's talk to, to this person here. This violet skinned, skinned visitant... Oh, another visitant. Paces back and forth before the cavern's opening. It wears fine clothes that serve to accentuate the tall, thin crest on its head. A symbol has been painted on the crest, mirroring the insignia marked on its chest. Its clothes are finely tailored and well made. Hmm. The name of the creature's race crawls to your mind. It's a Vargellan. This one has temporarily chosen to be female. A bulbous eyes flash quickly around her surroundings before focusing directly on you. The council didn't send you, that is much that much is plain. Her voice is high and fluting. You're aware that this cave isn't safe, I hope. What exactly do you want? This cave isn't safe. Not unless you trust the discretion of the Sticha, those insectoid monsters that are prowling about, most people are afraid of them. Who are you? An agent and negotiator, dispatched here by the council, but that should be obvious from my clothing and my guards. Uh, what council do you serve? She gives you an incredulous look. The ruling council of the city, of course. The heads of the slave families. You must be new to Sega's Cliffs, very new. I was wondering what you're doing here. I am conducting a diplomatic negotiation on behalf of the city. Unfortunately, I am not dealing with a reasonable species. Her crest flutters irritably 
I've made no progress at all. The day is wasted in this miserable tunnel, and I have nothing to show my superiors. Well, maybe I can help you negotiate. She looks you up and down, considering doubtful. But you might have other skills I can use. The circumstances call for a new tactic, and these levies cannot do what needs to be done, nor can I. The Vajalan nods. If you truly think you can help, let's put you to the test. She waves off the levies who flank her. Her gestures are short and choppy, sharp and irritated. It's these damnable Sticha. She says, I speak to them, offer. I offer cajole, negotiate and threaten. Yet they persist in their digging, and every day another house on the cliffs above slips into the sea. Yeah, she's right, of course. If the digging does not cease, the city itself may crumble. So the year is my request. Find a way into their lair, remove their precious eggs and return them to me. These hostages shall ensure the future of the city alone, above. Scan thoughts and also turn a tidy profit. I could get them all. Yeah, okay, let's get them all, the eggs. <laughs> she pauses. If you can negotiate a lasting settlement that does not require such drastic measures, you may also pursue that method. But I've been trying for days without success. Well, I think I can, can help you. Good. We need to stop the Sticha before they bring down the entire substructure of the city. She pauses and lowers her voice. If you manage to infiltrate their lair, be sure to acquire all their eggs. I suspect they will have multiple clusters, and we will need them all if you want to negotiate from a position of strength. Ha ha. She hands you a synth ball with a blinking device inside. Once you're in the lair, activate this. It will show you all the tunnels, the egg clusters, and the stichas themselves. Better to know what you face before you charge ahead. Uh, I'd like to ask some questions before I go. She says, very well. Be aware that the time you spend with me is more time for the sticha undermine the city. Come on, these few minutes, really? Ah, <sighs> How can I reach the sticha lair? If I knew, I would go there myself. The Sticha are quick to dispatch intruders, and I doubt that they would take humans or Vargellans there of their own accord. Perhaps a construct of some sort or a digging machine, but I know little of fabrication or manufacturing. So I'll leave that for you to explore. Hmm. Can you tell me about yourself? She wobbles deep in her throat. I am Palai, an accredited agent of the slave families. I act with her full faith and authority to resolve the Sticha crisis. Um, yeah, now you want us to help, so answer our, all our questions, please, because we're incredibly curious. I'm looking for a pale woman named Matkina, by the way. The name's familiar, and pale humans are rare. One would imagine I might recall someone of that description. Alas, I do not. Scan thoughts. The White Death? What does she want with her? Ah, you are familiar with Matkina, aren't you? She holds up her hands, only by reputation. It may be that she found employment with a council at one time. I know no more. All right. So you mentioned the slave families. Who are they? She scoffs and then points to the sigil marked upon her breast. The slave families are the descendants of those brave souls who rose against the injustice of the previous rulers of Sega's Cliffs. Led by Chyla the Great, they cast down the tyrants and tore their families asunder. The faithful, who stood with Chyla, saw their service rewarded with stewardship of the city. Their descendants carry on with this great tradition. She bows. They have made me their agent. And what, finally, what can you tell me about the Sticha themselves? Filthy animals, scattering insects, who can say if they're even sentient? First and foremost, they dig, and they care nothing for the homes they destabilize or the lives that are lost when our buildings collapse. They do not speak the truth reliably, so we cannot know if they understand the damage they cause. She frowns, though I suspect that they do. Ask me your questions. Perhaps we shall find a way to deal with these monsters. Hmm. Where did the Stira come from? Her eyes wobble in frustration. If I knew, I'd send them back there in a tr 
tries some years ago, perhaps decades. They simply appeared here and they have been causing problems ever since. And what are they doing here in general? I cannot imagine. They dig incessantly. They insist upon digging tunnels underneath the city, destabilizing the crag upon which Sega's Cliffs is built. Countless buildings have collapsed or fallen into the sea, more so than is ordinary, based on the shoddy construction so many of our residents employ. The problem has struck Cliff's Edge especially. Many loyal citizens have perished. Huh. How do you communicate with them, by the way? A crest flutters as he, she hisses in irritation. I have not the faintest idea. I do not even know if they fully understand the truth. Perhaps the one that points at itself and chitters can help. I call it Kekt. It can matter a handful of words and perform some sign language. I have tried to negotiate with it, but I have gotten nowhere. Thank you and farewell, Pelai. And we'll, we'll talk to Kekt about this in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode of Torment, Tides of Numenera. Have a good time until then.